The AM show had a really interesting, I know, color me surprised, segment on today because they did their normal thing about let's get your average Kiwi on and talk about the tax cuts. And uh, you'd think that the tax cuts, especially when one of the people who they're talking to identifies as a national supporter, uh, would have gone pretty well for national. Wasn't quite the case, Chewy. Let's have a look at a couple of average Kiwis. Um, and one of them was a mother with four kids. It sounds like maybe a stepmother, maybe a, two marriages came together, but a couple with four kids. Mm-hmm. Um, and they weren't that happy. They weren't that happy. We, yesterday, we told you all about National's tax plan, how much they plan to deliver in cash back to the so-called squeeze middle of New Zealand. The cost of living crisis has got heaps of Kiwis doing it hard. And under National's plan, an average income household with no kids will get an extra $100 this is quite per, good. per fortnight. An average income household with kids will get a two hundred up to a $250 he, boost. Finally, look, of all people, Ryan Bridge, finally, someone identified the up to as they've done here, mm. up to. Finally, someone's done it. Yeah. They, they kind of now gloss over it, but at least it's fucking there. Per fortnight, and that is the key um, phrase there. A superannuity the key phrase. will get so, yeah. up to $26 a fortnight, a median income full-time worker up to $50 a fortnight, and a full-time minimum wage worker up to $20 per fortnight. So what does the so-called, so-called squeezed middle really think? This morning, we're joined by Kiwi mum, Ria Apiata, and small business owner, Belinda Diamantis. Good morning. Thanks for being on AM. Great to have you. Morning. Thanks, Ryan. Um, I want to start with you, um, Ria. We've had you on the show before. What your uh, mum of four, what did you make of it? Is there much in it for you? So mum of four, you would think that's the 250 bucks a fortnight that they're mm. being touted about. Mum of four, you would think she'll be, she'll be the target market to go, oh my gosh, you know, 250 bucks a fortnight because they're selling that narrative. It'll be awesome. That's what you would think, yeah? But you'll be surprised, Chewy, because guess what? Her kids use public transport. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not a tax, tax expert, but what I can say is how it feels for my family. And the first thing is I couldn't find my family on the table. So as I said last week, I have four children and it was a great decision to go from two to four. So National has said, you know, a couple with a couple of kids, a couple with a couple of kids, they've got four kids. She doesn't know what the amount's going to be. Four children. Uh, But, um, you know, with that average household being 2.7, I've got a a household of six with with my husband, myself, four children. Um, You know, I looked at it, if, if it gives us, say, $40 $40 extra a week, I've got to distribute that uh, across my, my team at home and, and you're looking at under $7 each a week. Is that helpful? Uh, you know, first looking at it, yes, it is. Um, at the same time, is it a game changer? You know, that's yet to be seen and um, already I can see that the plan will be removing the subsidies in public transport. So with my children catching the the bus and trains a a lot, four out of four, um, I think that's going to be a net loss for us is my first thought. So there's exactly what we talked about last night, Joey. You know, give them back a small amount in tax return, take off the public transport. There's an example of someone who says she will be, their family will be worse off under these tax cuts. And you could actually, I, I, mm, I won't quite say it like this, but I would think as well, when she was like, when she said, well, it, it, you know, is, will we be better off? Well, we'll wait and see. It's like, well, no, it won't make a big difference. But she said, we'll wait and see. I feel like she's even kind of going, you know, let's be generous and see what how it pans out. So I'm thinking she's looking for a way to make it uh, to make it work. And even from someone who feels like the way she's looking to make it work has said, uh, we're going to be worse off once this happens. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and then a small business owner. And there you go. There's national bread and butter, um, except she's 51 and she's single and she doesn't have kids. So what has she got to say? Right. And that's, I mean, you're in Auckland, so... That's how kids get around in, 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 in a big city like Auckland, isn't it? It's public transport. So you've been particularly hurt by that. Do you think this will change, you know, given what we know about what Labor is offering and you're a swing voter, do you think this is enough to sway you one way or are you still listening? I'm still listening. So I, I want to understand how the plan as a whole is going to help us as a nation, uh, you know, help my family. Yeah, nice. Uh, but at the moment... You know, the bright line test going back to two years, yeah, that's a good thing, but not being a property investor. Uh, am I in that picture? No, I'm not. So, yeah, so I'm still I'm still listening. Um, 
broadly, you know, in the midterm, if everything keeps going up, cost of living, inflation, that that seven dollars a week extra it isn't going to mean much at all in in the grand scheme of things. Well, there's also something really interesting, Chewy, that I saw. A, a, probably was a Labor Party one, but. They were talking about, you know, National is going to give back $10 to minimum wage and this X amount of single figures of dollars per week to each person. Under Labor, minimum wage has caused the uh, the minimum wage, minimum wage take-home pay to go up by about 500 bucks a week or 300 bucks a week or something like that since they've been in. So National's offering 10 bucks to these people. Labor has given them hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars in increases. Now, National might be offering them a $10 a week tax cut. That's not these guys here with moved slightly but what are they going to do with minimum wage national's been historically terrible at rising the minimum wage so people on minimum wage will be going yeah ten dollars a week cool and then have stagnant wages for the next four years and see nothing more and then be further behind is that a possibility but see this is the thing that they've done right is that they can turn around and say well yeah like they increased the minimum wage and now look there's rampant inflation and they want to link those two things and it's not there's there's information coming out now and it's not surprising to us right that these companies are making record profits yeah, they're not the bank. ones doing it tough they yeah. have socialized it onto us so yeah. yeah that that old story of of course inflation goes up when people's wages go up they'll link that no worries at all and they'll ignore the other thing and then labor gets blamed yeah. which is perfect. That's exactly what they want. All right. Uh, massive thanks to Sai and to Ivan who have just bought merch. Remember, this is your last chance to buy merch to get in this week's delivery. We're going to do this for at least three weeks, so there's no rush. Uh, but if you want to do it tonight and me put the order through tonight, uh, bhnshop.nz promo code is Thursday. If you're watching this clip the day after, you can still go there. You're just going to pay for the delivery. Oh, well, poor you. Come watch us live and get free delivery. Let's keep going. Belinda, thank you for being with us on the show. I think you e emailed into us yesterday, so thank you for doing that, and thank you for watching. Belinda, tell no us about, you're, you're on your own, no kids. How, well, first of all, tell us about your situation right now. Sure. Um, I am a 51-year-old um, uh, single business owner, so, you know, live by myself, uh, first home buyer, so I've been in my home for two years. Um Whilst I think there's a lot of positives in terms of what National were talking about yesterday, I feel that once again, having no children, being single um, and being a, a, a you know very low wage earner, um, there's really nothing in it for me. Um, I think I qualify for $4 a week. $4. Um, yeah, I just... Hang on. One... National's the party of small businesses. This is, this is your target demo. Four bucks a week for her. She's not happy. Once again, I, I just feel that I'm nowhere included in that package. How are you managing to hold it all together? Because you said you've got your own house two years ago when interest rates were mm. very different to the way that they are now. You've got a business sure. which you're running on your own. You know, how sure. Are you working seven days a week? How hard is it for you? Yeah, it's been really tough. Um, look, I, I went into it with my eyes open. I knew that going to a finance company versus a bank for my mortgage, it was going to be a floating rate. Um, I'm really? now at 9.85%. Um, so I've had to get a second Ooh. job to uh, make ends meet. So I pay about $800 a week in my mortgage. Um, I'm six years into my business. So I'm sort of at the point now where I either – throw the towel in and, and um, go and get full-time work just to make the mortgage, um, or I could possibly have to sell my house. So, you know, again, there are lots of positives that National are offering, but I don't feel that I benefit from any of them, to be honest. There you go. We'll leave it there for that uh, conversation. She does go on when they ask her, she, uh, the, the business owner does go on to say, she doesn't say oh, I'm a hardened, uh, hardened, ardent National supporter, but she does go, I normally vote National. So, so they haven't got on... Hmm couple of partisans necessarily someone well, that, who is still open to the conversation player. yeah i guess so and and look the thing that's terrifying about 800 dollars a week as i always think that's 800 dollars a week after tax so that means you've got to earn a thousand bucks a week plus so you've got to earn fifty two thousand dollars salary to pay you 800 bucks a week a, a single woman no kids nothing in the tax take to help it which means people like me joey and I'll, I'll be honest about it, and uh, I, I still get some benefits from the government because i have working for families because i still have two children who are under 18 so, you know, 
with those children that it helps put some money in my pocket. Well, technically it helps me pay less tax because there's a tax rebate, but you know, it makes it easier. So no children, nothing in it for her. And remember the thing that pisses me off most of all about conservative versus let's say liberal. And I'm talking about liberal, not as a neoliberal, but left progressive versus conservative politics is the conservative movement around the world have taken ownership of things like family values and taken ownership of things like small business and that narrative seems to have been brought in. Actually, if you look at who's helped families most of all, and businesses most of all in the last few years, it's the left. And as we've said before, the right doesn't seem to have any good ideas. They seem to, all they ever seem to do is respond to the left. If you look at all those policies that are in New Zealand uh, and the ones that we love and will hold on to and won't give up, whether it's free healthcare, whether it's interest-free student loans, whether it's, oh gosh, you could probably throw in there the free first year of tertiary education, now, all those things, they're all from the left. There is nothing in there that we hold on to tightly that's come from the right. The right respond to the left. And I think it's a little bit of the grass is greener scenario, Chewy. I'm not saying Labor's perfect. In fact, I don't even know who I'm voting for this year. I'm not saying they're perfect. I'm not saying they're the best. But I am saying traditionally the left give a far better deal to the public than the right when it comes to economically, when it comes financially, when it comes to services. And the payoff is, okay, let's be fair, you pay a bit more tax. But everything else because of it is better. You have to put a little bit more in the bank, the bank of us being the government, and you get a lot more out. And I just, I just... You know, it's it's so clear to me, and that's why if the left vote, the left wins, because every Western country has more left voters than right voters. It's just that the left are so apathetic.